Hello and welcome to a module that has a French title, La Nouvelle Théologie, or The New Theology. Uh, the background to this module lies in late 19th century Catholic thought. Uh, at that time, Catholic theology had been taught through what are sometimes known as manuals. So very strict summaries of Christian doctrine and teaching that with hindsight are regarded as quite conservative in nature. And this tradition became known as neo-scholasticism, a sort of scholastic theology uh, referring back to the schools of medieval Europe uh, and a variant on that. And some of the key neo-scholastic theologians we think of are the French Dominican Reginald Garigou Lagrange. And out of that tradition of neo-scholastic theology in the late 19th century, as the Catholic Church came to confront what they labelled modernism or the development of the modern world in the 20th century, there arose a very different strand of Catholic thought that was almost a rebellion against the neo-scholasticism of figures such as Garigou Lagrange. And Garigou Lagrange labelled this theology, this reaction to neo-scholasticism, the new theology, la nouvelle theologie. This is a derogatory term. Theology shouldn't be new. It should always be in continuity with the past. It shouldn't be innovative in this sense. Um, but these new theologians, many of whom Garigou Lagrange himself had taught, uh, examined Catholic thought afresh. And in particular, what they were interested in doing is what became known in French as ressourcement, or res resourcing the church, going back to the church's patristic and medieval sources as a way of positively looking for answers to the questions that modernity presents to us. Now, one of the key proponents of this new theology, of ressourcement theology, was a Jesuit, Henri de Lubac. And Henri de Lubac wrote a key work uh, in the early 20th century called Surnaturel. Uh, and in this, he described afresh his understanding of the relationship between nature and grace. And the relationship between nature and grace became the core issue that was debated uh, within this sphere of Catholic theology in the 20th century. And this module focuses particularly on that debate on de Lubac's legacy, on his answer to neo-scholasticism, which wanted a clearer delineation between nature and grace, and the way that that particular debate has very radical consequences and implications for our understanding of, for example, the relationship between faith and reason, uh, revealed theology, natural theology, but also between the sacred and the secular. And as well as looking at Henri de Lubac and his contribution through Surnaturel and his uh, later works, we examine other themes around ressourcement theology, the way that uh, these thinkers, these Catholic thinkers leading up to the Second Vatican Council in the 1960s wanted to recover earlier forms of learning, the riches of the church's tradition uh, as a dynamic form of teaching that uh, evolves over time, that develops. Uh, we also look at themes such as biblical exegesis. So de Lubac himself was very interested in recovering what's known as the fourfold method of biblical exegesis that we find in the early church and developed in the medieval period as a way of uh, tackling in a positive sense uh, modern uh, biblical critical methods. Uh, we look at the historical background to the new theology and its legacy in contemporary debates and other figures beyond de Lubac, such as Yves Congar. Thank you.